Well, I'm delighted today to be joined from the United Arab Emirates, one of the delegates to the WISIS 2015 Forum. His name is uh, Mohammed al -Khamis. Mr. al -Khamis, hello and welcome. Hello, welcome. Now, you're with the Smart Government Programme. In fact, you are its director. Uh, the government came to you with a mission, didn't they? We heard about a little bit about this last year. Tell us what the mission was and how you got there. Well, uh, thank you for, the, for, for this opportunity. Um, basically, the, on, 20, on the second, 22nd May 2013, uh, the UAE government basically uh, embarked on this uh, bold uh, uh, initiative, which is basically transforming uh, its government services from electronic form to more smarter services. And His Highness Sheikh Mohammed, the Prime Minister of the UAE and the ruler of Dubai, gave very clear directives. You've got two years to transform your e-services your e to smart. Now, during the course of these two years, the, 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 the TRA, basically the Telecommunication Regulatory Authority, in close coordination with the Prime Minister Office, have worked with the government entities in order to achieve that ambitious goal. Um, just, just, just before you go, and by smart, you mean essentially so people can access these services from their handheld devices? Absolutely. I mean, I mean by smart, I mean, we mean services available on smart devices, gotcha. uh, whether there's an iPhone or an iPad or, or any, any smart devices available. The idea is to provide services to the end user uh, uh, around the clock, so 24, 24 hours, seven times a day around the clock, and basically to provide some personalized services. So all the government had to basically, the government entities had to change the way they think about services in order to make them simpler and make them easily accessible for those customers. Okay, so you had two years to do this, and you did it? Well, I'm, I'm glad. I mean, I've, had been, I've been interviewed last year where this all started. Um, and we were in the, in the first year in our transformation. I'm happy to be here. I'm glad to basically uh, say that we have achieved our first milestone. Um, we have 337 priority services of 41 federal entities which have been transformed. Um, these services, uh, so the transformation percentage or the transformation index as we, as we hold today is 96%. So 96% of those priority services have been transformed to smart. Uh, that's 100% of 35 entities uh, achieved 100% transformation. We have six entities who have achieved around 90 to 99% of transformation. However, I, as, as I'm delivering my interview today, I'm very sure that we have also exceeded those percentages. Now, the, 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 good, the beauty about this transformation is that uh, we've looked at various uh, uh, sectors. So the number of services we've been transformed uh, span across spectrum of uh, sectors. We've got the health sector, we've got the education, we've got the infrastructure and power sector, we've got the social affairs sector. So really we try to ensure that every stakeholder base and every customer base of those sectors has been serviced basically. Okay. So you've come a long way clearly and in two years as well. What remains to be done there? Well, uh, as our lead leadership taught us that in order to stay at the top, you have to always plan ahead and always strive with hard effort to always look ahead in the future and how you can deliver that. Uh, while we were achieving our transformation and working with government entities, we have been also working side by side on our parallel uh, strategy, a strategy which we put forward uh, in, co in collaboration with, our, with the Prime Minister's office. Uh, we've called it the National Plan of Smart Government. And basically, the strategy uh, looks at four main pillars, four main strategic pillars. We've got the people, basically, how we could increase customer satisfaction. Uh, we've got the government, how can the government work efficiently together? We've got the knowledge, how could we use, how we could increase knowledge using ICT. And the last one is basically innovation, because we believe in innovation. So how we can increase innovation by the use of ICT. The national plan basically looks at seven priority areas in order to bridge the gap and in order to excel to the next level. We've looked at uh, the four priority areas, the seven priority areas, sorry. First of all, uh, which is the smart infrastructure. So how we can deliver infrastructure which can be able to, to cater for the future expansions. We've looked at the smart identity, so how can the customers be able to, to get what they want and, and interact with the government online while ensuring that the identity is secure? Uh, we've got the outreach and engagement, how to ensure that non, non, none of those customer base are left behind, to ensure that on board, whoever, is, whoever doesn't have the IT background should be also be able to utilize and benefit from the customer services. We've got the human capital, basically a center of digital excellence, uh, uh, basically derived to, to aid and assist the government entities in bridging up any gap in terms of technical advancements. We also have the government, po governance and policy, again, 
uh, leapfrogging and, and providing services online does not mean, uh, uh, you know, there, certain, there should be some sort of a, a governance or policies related to that to support it actually. Uh, and the lastly is the service modernization. So with the whole mindset being shifted towards uh, delivering services with, with, the, with the customer in mind, uh, entities will now have to uh, look at what the customer wants and how they want the, the, the service to be delivered to them. And that's a, a very big mind shift. So as we move forward to the future, um, this is the three years uh, plan, um, and we really look forward. We've already started uh, with the implementation, and hopefully I'll be here in, in the next three years and I'll be able to provide you more uh, positive uh, input on that. Well, I look forward to that meeting. Uh, Mr. Mohammed Al-Khamis, we thank you for your time today. Thank you very much. Thank you.